Disney's going to run out of actors to the point where they're going to be making the Equilibrium or whatever the fucking it's called. There's probably a Marvel comic called the Equilibriums yeah, or some shit. Yeah. And they'll cast Jar and we'll, they'll just be like, all right, get ripped, then you're in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, it's a million bucks each. Just get ripped. <laughs> Seek kale or whatever. <laughs> I and you'll it. be in a movie. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, but I it would work. Imagine us whipped. <coughs> the beard, like even better. Ripped. The balls. The butts. What's what? what look, look, let's come up with the story of the equilibrium. The e no, the equilibriums. The equilibriums. Yeah. We are each an equilibrium. So, who's the main character? Because you need a main character. You need a James. James is the main character. And so, he's a, and he used to be a tank driver. He used to be a tank, like what, in like one of the world wars? In World War One, he was a World War One tank driver. Just the miserable, just a fucking hole. Like. Yeah. What, what's the superhero aspect then? The equilibriums. He, he gets blown up, bl absolutely just obliterated. Right. And is he like shattered into another dimension or something? Or? The tank. It just yeah. so happens that he he was meant for greater things than just being obliterated in this. No, thing. no. It, let's reel it back a second. What is his character arc for the movie? Um, he discovers that human value is more than. So he's an alien. No. Well, no. No. He discovers that. People deserve goodness. Where does the the title of the equilibriums come into the, it? Because I'm in equilibrium. It could be like that is the equilibrium. No, it could be like Marvel's version of Green Lantern. Fuck it, like the equilibriums, like the the Lantern Corps, but you know they're the no. equilibriums. No, that's it's like a, it's like a you know, no, the, like, no. How about this? Like there's there's some sort of force, like a. a this can be Ruben's character. He's like a kind of like the Gandalf, the Dumbledore sort of yeah. like the all-knowing character who you know. He's a bit, but because it's Marvel, he's a bit quippy. He's a bit yeah. uh, dry. Yeah. He's Iron Man, and he's like his job is to target people who are are killed at a certain point when they they didn't deserve to be killed and that they were. Uh, destined for greater things so he dies in world war one and he's like plucked from reality from like a different dimension yeah and and this is perfect because everyone loves a fish out of water story yeah so then you got james he's like james this is crazy he's ripped he's walking around like this is just out, of <laughs> out. <It's> just, <laughs> he pulls out his iphone this. and he's like what the and that's when that's when uh, me and you come in, Jim. We're the brothers. Yeah. We're the equilibrium brothers. We know what's up in the in the We've like, already zone. been dead yeah yeah but and we're back and this we is with samurai yeah but james he's got no clue what's going on james he's yeah. out of his mind he's 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 in a he's in a new realm ruben's there just like trying to explain it and he's like yeah. i can't take this anymore. he runs away and that's when he meets the brothers he meets the equilibrium brothers <laughs> but which... what's, what's your what's your backstory what's your no but here's we the thing samurai. i Either one of us either then was the fucking leaders of the five families as well. Just to Yeah. Uh, either one of us has to be a villain or both of us are villains. Because I feel like that's something that hasn't been done in the Marvel Universe yet. Like brother villains. Am I wrong? <laughs> it's, what, so it's like there's like a gap in the Marvel villain monk. So for us being equilibriums, are you trying to make my e e equilibrium? Yeah, what, bad? what's the motivation of the villains? Are we both villains? That's what I'm like really torn on because it might be more interesting for just one of us to be a villain. A good and a bad. Like a yin well, and yang type one, one bad and the other's stuck between both. An equilibrium. Yeah. No, James is the ultimate equilibrium. You're too good and naive. I'm too bad and evil. And he... James's arc is to teach us that we need to come together in the middle somewhere. Yeah, and vote for Lib Dems. <laughs> no, but I'm what? a liberal and you're a democrat, and we come together and we become the liberal <laughs> democrats. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> no, but what's the evil we've got to fight? Because it just seems like a a, a rom com fucking thing, not a super. The evil movie. is Alex. No, but I can't. 
But then, yeah, you, you instead of just doing the typical thing where it's like a uh, one Iron Man fighting another Iron Man, there's still an epic fight scene, like of epic scale. Maybe uh, Kumal comes in or whatever, Pawnee or whatever the fuck comes in, and he like has a cameo and sort of helps out or whatever. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, it's a whole universe. We've yeah. got to keep some cohesion going on. Maybe get Spider-Man in there. I don't care. But the ultimate point is James settles the score and brings the characters together and Ruben comes in there and he starts crying and he's like, just, <laughs> he's into the whole thing. It know? doesn't so, sound like a superhero movie. It just sounds like a Baby weird... Yoda in there. He's, you know, just... <laughs> yeah, he's in Disney now. I, I This just sounds like a weird rom-com. <laughs> It's this premise is better than Captain Marvel at least. Yeah, no, I'm liking this pre pre premise. The only trouble is there is a movie already called Equilibrium. No, but we're the Equilibriums. <laughs> you see, that's why I was specifying the plural. Yeah, because like, and it's Marvel too. Like they probably they can probably buy the IP and delete it from existence if they wanted. Like we've got the Equilibriums comic. Say goodbye to that stupid film with fucking Batman in it or whatever. Yeah, Christoph Waltz. <laughs> That's like ripping off the Matrix. Is that the movie? I'm, is that yeah, the movie? yeah, it's totally ripping off the Matrix. <laughs> it's kind of sick though. Do you remember the part where he opens the boot and there's a puppy and it's like, you got to kill this puppy. And he's like, what's this, Equilibrium? Yeah. And he's like, nah, this thing looks like Baby Yoda. It's one of those movies I've seen like too many times. Really? Yeah. It's I got, must have seen it about three times. It's got times. the guy from Prison Break in it. Do you remember the really dumbass brother? Oh, the guy he's in. Um, 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 he's got like the Blade. squarest head. He's in Blade Three. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> so he's in. <laughs> he's in the beginning of Equilibrium, and he's killed immediately. Spoilers, dude. Come on. People care about Marvel. You can't just go throwing us throwing spoilers. I so don't... so at the end of Equilibrium, do you die? Equilibriums. Equilibrium, sorry. No, because that's the point. Is that the the, the message is it's like a centrist like propaganda like message. Right. Where it's but like, how do we have epic fight scenes? How, where's the the person we're fighting? Because, because everyone's invincible, so you can just have like a man of steel like. Just <laughs> for like no, I don't minutes. think everyone should be invincible. I I'm... think we should be even more vulnerable than normal people. Because we're, we're in equilibrium. Like, we're, yeah, we're all glass cannons. You know? Like, uh, if so, we got into a fight with a, just a dude and he, like, sucker punched one of us. <laughs> but that, that would make it interesting because the jar dynamic is quite literally just smacking each other constantly and that would kill us. So it's just like. Yeah, that, that a... would be death. So it's kind of like more of a bob and weave sort of deal. What's James's, like, like, what's his power? Yeah. Um. Because he has to have, like, the, the special thing that makes him, like, whoa. Like, we've been equilibriums for a long time, but you are, like, the yeah. equilibrium. You're Neo. You're, like, you're the um, main one. James gets punched in the stomach and he doesn't die. Well, maybe he's got the super slap. <laughs> he slaps you, like, into another dimension and you're gone. Yeah, he's able to slap another human out into of existence. I create equilibriums. That's, 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 that's <laughs> the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, whatever that, whatever all of that was, is certainly gonna be better than the Eternals. So, <laughs> without a doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt, without no, a doubt. But what are your powers? No, I'm. I, I'm we're just I'm, normal equilibriums. Yeah, we're just normal equilibriums. Like I'm, 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 I'm happy with. The, I'm happy with that story. Like I'm done. I'm finished. I've had enough of that. When should we start writing? That was it. Right. Disney's going to take it now. They're going to just make it into a movie, yeah. and pff, our Here's bank accounts will suddenly get. dollars for your IP. Time for us to make no because it was two on a billion because it was on a podcast. They can just be like, oh yes, that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to watch the Eternals, and it's going to be like word for word what we've described. No, yeah, because it says in the in the saga of the Eternals, a race of immortal beings who lived on Earth and shaped its history and civilizations. They're immortal beings. That's big difference. That's fucking boring, though. How can you make a movie? You tell me, man. Ew, th they can't die. Yeah, but then, like, there will be a character no, that can die. No, they'll be in die. fighting. That's what will happen. Duh. They can die only to each other. Boom. A bit like Highlander, yeah. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Mark my words. I can literally see into the future. And you know that. So who's gonna watch Star Wars? 
Uh, maybe. When's it out? Tomorrow. It'll be, it'll be out by the time people hear this. So people will know oh, really? what the I new Star Wars is The day after this comes out. Well, with that said, we'll be back after these messages.